We're going to show you how to cook a steak on the Kamara Joe. Um, I've got here a lovely piece of ribeye from my local butcher, nice and thick. Make sure it's at least an inch and a half, maybe a bit more. Um, I've actually got a bit of clarified butter on there, is what you can see. And I've got my seasoning, which is lots of salt, some pepper, and a touch of other spice, just to give it a bit of extra. And it, that's a big piece of steak, so I'm going to season this really heavily, both sides. And say lots of salt, bit of, bit of cayenne in there, and a few other spices. It's not going to make it hot and spicy. It's just going to bring out the flavour of the meat. So come to the commando. Look at the temperature. We're above 300. We're in the steakhouse searing part. So you really want to be up here if you're cooking a steak. Okay. Vent at the bottom is fully open. Vent at the top is fully open, and you can see the heat pouring through. There's a lot of charcoal in there at the moment. So if we open it up. As you can see here, we've got the half-min griddle ready to go, and we've got it the divide and conquer system. So the left-hand side, as I look at it, is indirect, and the right-hand side is direct cooking. So this is the side I'm going to cook it on. So we're straight on there. And here it sizzles straight away, smoke, lid down. And I'm going to cook that for three minutes on each side. Okay, so let's turn the steak over. It's been in there for about two to three minutes. Come on, you beauty. Okay, so that's been in there for a couple of minutes each side. Looking really good. So now I'm going to move it from the hot side to the indirect side. Oh, nice bit of flame touch there. So that's now on the indirect side. Okay, so uh, cooking the uh, a nice ribeye steak, best medium to medium rare on a barbecue here. So with my meat probe, just into the thickest part, check the internal temp, perfect, between 52, 53 degrees C, uh, and that's ready to take off. Now that's just below the actual temperature you're gonna eat it at, because obviously when you take the meat off, it will continue to cook whilst it's resting. So whilst it's resting, just get some foil, loosely cover, and allow that just to rest for a little bit, and then we'll carve it and eat it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you really enjoy cooking with the Kamado Joe. Um, check out our channel for more recipe ideas um, and if you are interested in getting a Kamado um, we've got a special offer for people who stay at uh, Yorkshire Spa and Retreat so give us a call at Yorkshire Fire and get on our website give us evidence that you've stayed here and we'll give you an exclusive discount